Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is one of the series, How You See Them Versus Reality. Everything you need to know about the schedule of the channel is in the description box. I'm doing, I started to do on Mondays, air and water energy checkup, a small like, a small reading individually. And on Wednesday, fire and earth. We have two jumping cards, seven of cups and the knight of swords. There is someone watching you. And this person is confused about what you want. Sometimes they feel that you are interested. Some other times they feel that you are not. But from what I'm seeing here in front of me, I don't think you are interested in this person. You are focusing somewhere else completely. So it seems that there is a secret admirer in your life. You don't know about them. Look around. Maybe you can see. Okay. How you see them physically. Oh. The guy came again. Reality. Emotionally. Reality. Mentally. Reality. How you feel about them. How they feel about you. How you see them physically, you see them someone very good looking or beautiful as a woman, ready to fight, alert and strong. Reality, this person is depressed sad and they feel that everything in front of them is not what they want they want something and this something is far away from them i think this is an ex And I don't feel you really interested in them anymore. I believe you are here checking about someone, but this is the energy of someone else. Your ex invaded the reading. I don't believe you're interested in this person right now. Maybe you feel you still have kind of feelings towards them, but you are not, this is not the person that you are looking for. You get over this person obviously this person didn't get over you at all this person is in the ten of swords they are deeply in pain because they lost you
because this is your idea about them. You see them physically as the Knight of Swords. Emotionally, the Five of Swords. You see them conflicted. You see them emotionally are all about win or lose. This person, from your experience with them, this is how you think about them emotionally. I don't know if this is right. Maybe this was right before, but not now. You feel that this person emotionally believe that if they will make sure that you have emotions towards them, they have always to win over you. If they will not have the upper hand emotionally, that means you are not in love with them. I believe this person used to show you that they are always emotionally not available. And you try to offer them the truth, but, or maybe you told them the truth. I think you told this person how you feel about them or how you like describe their personality emotionally in a sharp, soft way, like you, you hold the sword, but you didn't stab them. This person was reaction towards you was very cold as if they don't know what you are talking about. But reality, what you said to them, put a three swords in their heart because you touched the reality. Even though they didn't show you that, they felt the pain from what you said because you said exactly what's inside this person's heart. I believe this person felt emotionally that they tried to hide the reality from you but they didn't succeed and that was a big moment for them. They tried all the time to give you the cold shoulder, shoulder and try not to show you emotions, not to let you know anything about them emotionally. But when you opened up and told them, I think that happened a long time ago, before you left, what you think about them emotionally was a shock to them because you touched the reality of them. And that was something big in this person's life. That was the past. Mentally, you think mentally this person is balanced. Deep inside you, I still feel that this person is holding feelings towards you. This is what you think. But I don't believe, you're right, by the way, but you don't know how deep these feelings you think that they still like you in a way as you like them. And like any other past person in your life, there is always some kind of a happy moment, intimate, like intimate moment. You will always remember this person in a loving light from time to time. This how you feel, and you think they feel the same way. Where, well, they don't. They don't feel the same way. This person is deeply in love with you. They want you, and they know that they lost their chance. I think this person is still deep in, inside them, emotionally waiting for a miracle to happen and bring you back to them. This is 
the same story that we saw before with this guy but in in detail in more depth mentally as i told you you think that this person is still holding kind of feeling towards you like this light feeling that you feel towards them the reality no this person is in the ten of swords in their mind because they lost you and if you will see them right now if you look in their eyes I don't know if you get the chance to see them like face to face you will feel the pain if you will look in this person's eye you will feel the pain that they hold this is what you think this is reality now i'm not sure this is reality inside this person i'm not sure that if you will talk to this person they will tell you this i don't know if this person is ready to open up to you but i don't feel you interested in them I think you are looking about towards something else or someone else. As I told you in the beginning, this guy invaded the reading. I don't think you came here to hear about your ex. But it seems they have a message to tell you. Let's see how you feel about them. Six of Cups. You still miss this person sometimes. It is a past life situation. Maybe you are fooling yourself when you say you don't love them. I think you still, as I told you, hold something towards this person. But you are, but you are strong enough right now after this relationship. It it seems that you did your healing. I think you are strong enough right now to move on, even if you still hold love towards them. Let's see what they, how they feel about you. Knight of Pentacles, this person is only watching you. This person knows for sure that they lost their chance with you. You are here, up there. This is your cup. They lost it. It's not for them anymore. They know that. Sometimes deep in their heart, they're hoping for a miracle. But when they think logically, they know that this is impossible. You are more honest with yourself than this person. And more mature than this person. You believe that you still have feelings in your heart for them. But you can move on. You know, sometimes there is people in our lives. We will never forget about them. But that doesn't mean that we have to stay stuck in the situation. We can move on and continue our life still admit that we still hold them in our heart there is part of our heart belong to them everyone on earth is the same we are all the same there is some people we don't forget about them the trick is are we ready to continue our lives admitting this because sometimes we go in between like ignoring the feelings or instead of saying it's most of the time we do two things. Either we ignore the feelings and we always tell ourselves that we don't have any feelings towards them and we are done and over with them and they don't mean anything to us. And most of the time it's a lie. Some other times we 
feel hate towards them, that we cannot stand them, we cannot see them. We feel that anger and hate toward them. And both situations mean that we are not healed and we are not mature enough to admit. You are in a very stable, balanced phase of your life. You know that you hold some feelings. You hold feelings in your heart towards this person. And this is something you cannot forget about. So you don't have to wait for it or ignore it or hate the person. Like cover the love with hate. This person is not there. This person in their act towards you or anyone, they didn't really change. This is the reality. This is what they showed you in the past. And I think this is what they will show you if you come close to them in the future or will show anyone else. This person deeply hurt, but they are too weak to admit that and heal themselves. This is the person where they, in a stage of ignoring that they have anything. They are ignoring their situation, thinking that they are fine. Well, they are not. Let's see the outcome for Seven of Swords. Exactly. If you will come closer to this person, or if by any chance you will come again in a relationship with them, you will see exactly what you saw before. The Seven of Swords energy. This person is deeply hurt, but they are not ready to heal. They don't admit the hurt. Or maybe this is something they feel between, between them and themselves from in certain, like, they feel this and they admit this to themselves like in a minute of, they believe it's a weakness inside them. So they ad admit that, then they convince themselves that this is wrong. To be honest with you, I don't know what this person is doing here. I think the message for you from this, I know you understand this person perfectly, it seems. The message for you in this, you, this is not wrong to, to hold some feelings towards this person, take it with you and leave. You still have feelings towards this person in your heart, but you are moving on, but you are admitting that you have these feelings and you have to live with these feelings and you will feel this from time to time deep inside your heart. You know the future is holding something beautiful towards you so you have to move on with this love in your heart it's okay you love them this is something you cannot change it's not in your hand to forget and change this feeling inside your heart but it's in your hand to move on and continue your life because this is a hopeless person, a hopeless situation. I think the message for you in here, you are doing the right thing. Move on in your life. I want to take one card for...
or the person that's really in your mind or the future person that you are looking forward to meet maybe you didn't met this person yet the person in your mind or if you not, don't have anyone in your mind the person that will, you'll will come your way is the queen of cups you deserve a real mature loving person and this mature loving person either you met them or you are about you will meet them soon hold that love give them a part of your heart and move on thank you so much for being with me my friends wish you all the best thank you so much for your time i hope that you get something knight of pentacles you did a great job in your life after this situation after this person after you left your ex you did an awesome job good for you Thank you so much for being with me, my friends. Wish you all the best. I hope I'll talk to you soon. If you are new, please subscribe and hit that notification button. Have a great day. Bye.